Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. I'm very excited that you want to join and do a little strap exploration. This session is really going to need a very long strap, or if you have two shorter straps, you can bind them together with the buckle. It's helpful if you have a strap with the buckle. Um, if you don't have one, I highly recommend investing in one. They are great to have. They are great support. They're great um, props that you can use to explore all different variations of your poses. So I highly recommend going out and finding a good one. I recommend anywhere from the eight to 10 foot strap, just so you have plenty of space to do what you wanna do. This is an eight foot strap, so it's nice and long. I would prefer probably to have a 10 foot strap because my legs are a little bit longer. So if you're a taller person, 10 foot might be the way to go. Invest in a good cotton one with a little buckle on the end, so the double back buckle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start standing. We're gonna talk a little bit about using the strap to find the power of our legs, maybe even a little deepness in our um, poses of our legs. So to take it first, you wanna make sure there's no twists. So you're gonna make sure it all stands up properly, right? So slide your hand along so there's no twists. And then to go through the strap, you go through both of the buckles, come back over that first one, under the second one, and just find a big loop, right? And when I have this, I always like to be able to pull the strap away from me. It's easier than pulling it up. Pulling it up, it doesn't kind of go. That's not what it's supposed to. But when you pull it down, it tightens easily. When you go to loosen it, you just pull up on that outer buckle and pull the bottom part down. So we're going to start into a few poses um, with open hips. So you're going to take your um, strap, you're going to wrap it around your right foot first. So I like to, when I put it around my, around my, sorry, my right thigh, I like to have that strap just below my hip crease so I can be able to pull it down, but that's gonna stay in my hip crease. And then the left foot is gonna take the strap and I'm gonna step it back. And it's gonna, we're gonna come into warrior two, but I just wanna show you the outside there. All right, so they're gonna come into a nice warrior two. So that strap's in the hip crease. And then to draw that hip down and away, I can pull on that strap to help that right hip curl under and I'm powering up my back leg, and I'm drawing that right hip under. Okay, so find your version of warrior two, Virabhadrasa two, tailbone lengthens down, pull the low belly in, find that strap in your hip crease, find that rotation of that hip under, and then add the arms. Just notice what that feels like. So we're gonna stay bound on this side. We're gonna do a few poses, and then we'll do the other side. You just notice how that feels in the legs. If the arms are bothering you, if they're causing you to be distracted, hands can just come to your hips. I'm gonna take a couple more breaths. Check in with that front knee. And then on your inhale, you're gonna straighten that front leg. You might have to hold on to the strap and tighten it. So you're gonna straighten that front leg coming into trikonasana. All right, so straighten that front leg. Keep rolling the chest open. Drawing that hip under by pulling that strap back, powering up the back leg and then lengthen that right sideways. Hands can stay on hips. Maybe they lightly touch your shin. Maybe they go to the block. Really power up the back leg. When you're ready, maybe top arm starts to reach. Good. Pressing down, lifting the chest, really activating those legs. Take another inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, look down. Exhale, bends back into that knee. So you're gonna have to pull up on that outer edge of this, or that outer loop of the strap as you start to bend back into your knee. Good, finding that warrior two stance again. Pull the strap down, roll that hip under, and then take your elbow to your thigh. Maybe hand to the inside, block or floor, open the chest, power up that back leg, and then take that top arm up and overhead. So side angle pose. Utita Parsva Kanasana. Good. Press in the outer edge of the foot. Draw that right hip under open. Another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, looking down. Press into the feet. Inhale, press yourself up. Warrior two again, Virabhadrasana two. Awesome. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to straighten that front leg parallel the feet. So you may not have to adjust the strap, but again, you're gonna draw those hips back, hands to your hips, and forward fold. Good, so lift up through the chest, pressing down, lengthening forward, so you can keep your hips equal here. Inner thighs lifting, 
Hands can come to the floor. We keep lengthening the chest forward. Pasarita, Padottanasana, wide leg forward fold. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, lifts the heart. And exhale. Good. Heel toe those feet in. Walking them in. And then switching sides. So you're going to take this strap. You're going to switch it around so that you can pull the strap down. It's going to go onto that left hip. Your right foot's going to draw back. Left toes are going to turn out. So making sure that strap's in that hip crease. And then tighten the strap. Once you found your distance, tighten the strap, drawing that left hip under. Try to draw the right hip out. So you're finding that openness in the pelvis. Press into the outer edge of that back foot so it helps to push into that strap. Good, and then add the arms if you're ready. Good, check in with that front knee. You're bringing that intention to draw it toward the left side, so activating that outer hip as that outer hip rolls under. Good, take another inhale there. Exhale. As you inhale, straighten that front leg, start to draw the strap tighter if you need to. Your right hand can come to your hip. Keep lengthening that left side waist, tilting the pelvis, right? So your right hip draws back. And then maybe that left hand comes down. Keep opening the chest, power up that back leg. Draw that left hip under, maybe top arm reaches. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, start to bend back into that knee. Adjust the strap so that you can stack knee over ankle or go toward that direction and then tighten it up again. Elbow to thigh, hand to block or floor. Take an inhale, open the chest, power up the leg, turn and roll that left hip under and then maybe top arm reaches over. Utita Parva Kanasana, side angle pose. Good. Keep pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, looking down. Power up those legs as you inhale. Come back up, Virabhadrasana two. Exhale. Inhale, straightens that front leg. Exhale, turn your legs to the long end of your mat. Good. Adjust the strap as needed. Hands to your hips or interlink hands behind your back. Take an inhale, open the heart. Exhale, lengthen forward. Good. Drawing those hips back. Lift and open through the chest. Maybe start to fold forward more. Pressing the outer edges of the feet. Hands can always come back to the floor if you'd like. Exhale, fully there. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, hands to hips if they're not there already. Engage the legs. Inhale, stand up. And exhale. Good. Go ahead and heel toe those feet in. And pause. So here you can pause the video. You can rewind it. You can do that again if you like the feeling and you want to try that again. Or we're going to add on and we're going to do some more closed stance hip, um, postures. So for, again, starting with our right leg. You're going to take that right leg. It's going to be forward. It's going to be around the right hip. This time, your left leg is going to step back for Virabhadrasana 1. So your hips are a little bit more closed, maybe toward the top left of your mat. And again, drawing that right hip down and under. Engage the left hip. Good. Press down through the back foot. Good. And then if it's OK, start to add the arms. Good. Maybe you might notice that you can lean forward more into that front foot because you're resisting into the back. So maybe you've been putting too much weight in the back leg and not challenging your front leg enough. So it's just a little awareness. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, straightens that front leg. Hand comes to the strap. Exhale, start to lengthen forward. Draw that left hip forward, coming into Parsvottanasana. And lengthening forward, hands can stay at your hips on the strap, or maybe they reach toward the floor. Inner thigh spiral together. That right hip draws back, and then press into the left foot. 
Imagine drawing those inner heels together. Another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to your hips if they're not on already. Inhale, lifts the heart. As you exhale, keep the strap there, hop your back foot in, so bend the knee, hop it in. And then from here, start to stand on your right leg, power up that back leg to lift it up for Virabhadrasana three. Push into the heel, lengthen the chest out. Good, maybe hands reach back, lift the heart. Good, take another big inhale, exhale. Good, as you inhale, slowly start to bend into the front knee, stepping that back foot back. Adjust the strap so that you can really lengthen that back leg back again. Square your hips, come onto the ball of the back foot, and then tighten the strap. Take an inhale there, and as you exhale, left hand down, right arm up, finding a twist. Drawing that left hip back, maybe even take the strap and draw the left hip or right hip back. Keep powering up the back leg. Two more breaths here. Exhale, looking down. As you inhale, look forward. Both hands come to the floor. As you exhale, bend into the back knee. Slide that front foot slightly back. And then slowly round yourself up. Ha! Huh. Switching sides. So release it off that side. Taking the strap. Onto the left foot, I'm going to face this direction so you can see what's happening with the strap on this left side. So undo it a little bit. Putting that in your left hip, right leg's going to go back. Good. Coming into Virabhadrasana one. So that straps in the hip crease, drawing that strap down to roll that hip under. Right hips drawing forward, engage that right glute, tailbone drops. Power up that back leg, and then maybe add the arms. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Good, breathing here, just notice if you feel any different sensations. So it's all about noticing little differences with the strap, without the strap. Exhale fully. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, hands come to your hips with the strap. Exhale, start to lengthen forward, power up that front leg, coming to Parsvottanasana pyramid pose. Power up that back leg and then hands can stay on the strap, on the hip, or they start to lengthen forward. Really draw that right hip forward, left hip back, pressing into the feet. Inner thighs draw toward one another. Take another inhale here and exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, Put your hands to your hips, lift your heart. Good. Put a little bend into the back knee. Hop it in. And then start to power up that back leg again. Stand the power in the front leg. And then start to lift the back leg up. So you're pushing against the leg. This is going to help draw that left hip back. Going to help lift that right heel. Maybe arms reach back, lift the heart. Virabhadrasana three. Good. Take another big inhale here. Exhale. Good. Inhale, start to bend into the front knee. Exhale, steps that right foot back. Adjust the strap so you can go a nice long stance coming into a high lunge. Good. So power of the back leg. That back heel's off the ground coming into our twist. Take your right hand down, left hand up. Good. Open the chest, drawing that right hip back. Powering up the back leg. Find opposing forces as you lengthen forward, your back foot pushes back to help you open the chest. Good, take another big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, both hands down. As you inhale, slide your front foot back. Exhale, round yourself up. Good, go ahead and release that. And again, feel free to pause. Do that again on each side, and then continue on. So from here, we're going to do a little flow without the strap. So we have the strap on. Now we're going to see what it feels like without the strap. It's going to find Tadasana at the top of your mat. Good, grounding down. Notice if you can still feel that strap around your legs. 
Feel your chest lift. Exhale fully. Inhale, takes those arms up. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, takes the arms up. And as you exhale, hands to heart, step your feet wide. Good, legs are nice and wide, arms are wide. And then turn your right toes out, find Virabhadrasana 2. Imagine you still have that strap. You're pushing away, you're pulling forward, and then drop down into your seat. Good, take an inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, straightens that front leg. Keep drawing that right hip back. Exhale, Trikonasana. Good, opening up the chest, low belly draws in. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, bending into that right knee. Taking that top arm overhead, Utita Parsvokanasana. Good, right hips rolling under. Imagine that strap there. Pushing forward as much as you're drawing back. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, press back up, Virabhadrasana 2. Take an inhale. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Inhale, turn the toes to the long end of your mat, parallel, parallel your feet, and hands to your hips. Take an inhale, and exhale, fold. Hands can come down to the floor, stay on the hips, take an inhale, long spine. Press into the outer edges of your feet as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to hips. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lifts the heart. And exhale, turn out those right toes again. Take your back foot, square it up. Find Virabhadrasana 1 on the right. Tailbone drops, glute engage, pull in through the belly, arms reach. Good, imagine you're pushing back, drawing that right hip down. Take an inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, straightens the front legs as your hands come to your hips. Exhale, lengthen forward, drawing that right hip back. Left hip forward, Parsvottanasana. Hands to floor or stay on hips. Take a big inhale there. And exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, put a little bend into the back knee. Shift the weight forward. And then inhale, stand on that right leg. Pull up through that left leg like you have the strap there. Push back, pull forward. Bear Vajrasa three. Gonna take another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly reach that left leg back as hands come to the floor. Power up the back leg and then take that right arm to the ceiling. Good, right hip draws back. Left hip draws up. Press down the lift up through the chest. Take another big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, circles hands to the floor. Exhale, pause. As you inhale, Stepping the back foot forward, and exhale, fold. Inhale, takes the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart. Stepping those legs out wide again. Good, pausing there. This time, turn your left toes out. Find Virabhadrasana 2 to the left. Tailbone drops, open the chest, press down into those feet. Good. Take a nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, straight as that front leg. Imagine drawing that left hip under. Exhale, hand comes down, trikonasana. Opening up the chest, tailbone to your back heel. Press and draw that left hip under to open the chest more. Big inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, looking down. Exhale, bends into that left knee, either elbow to thigh, hand to block or floor. Take that top arm overhead. Utita Parsva Konasana, side angle pose. Good, pressing down and away, drawing that left hip under, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, press yourself up, warrior two. Good, take an inhale there. Exhale, straighten that left leg. Parallel the feet, either hands to hips or hands behind the back. Power up those legs, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe you grab opposite elbows, maybe interlink fingers. 
lengthening forward, pressing the outer edge of the feet as you lift up through the hips. Top of the head lengthens down. Exhale fully here. Inhale, hands to the hips if they're not there already. Exhale. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale. Good, turning out those left toes again. Adjusting the hips, squaring the hips slightly for Virabhadrasana, one to the left. Engage those right glutes, draw in through the low belly, lift up through the chest. Pressing into those feet, imagining that strap, drawing that left hip down and back. Big inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, straightens the front leg. Exhale, hands to your hips. Take a big inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lengthen forward, Parasvottanasana. Lengthening forward, drawing that right hip forward, left hip back. Imagine that strap's on there. Maybe hands reach to the floor. Take another big inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, bend into the front knee, bend into the back knee. Lifting your hands to your hips or by your sides, stand on that left leg coming into Virabhadrasana three. Good, maybe arms reach back, maybe interlink the fingers, lift. Imagine that straps there, opposing forces. Another big inhale. Exhale. Release the hands, lengthen back, keep leaning forward as you reach that back leg back. Come into that high lunge, take an inhale. And then exhale, right hand down, left hand up. Power up the back leg, draw that left hip back, open the chest. Good, nice full breath here, finding that twist. Exhale. Inhale brings that left hand down. Exhale, pause. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, step it back down, we're facing dog. Good. Press down and forward into the hands. Draw up through the belly. Let the chest drop toward the floor. Outer hips, inner thighs draw back equally as those heels lengthen back. One more full inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, rocks yourself forward. Exhale, brings those knees down, hips to heels, find child's pose. Maybe rest your hands on your or your forehead on your hands. Maybe reach arms forward or backward. Take a few deep breaths here. Checking in with how the hips feel. Exhale fully. As you inhale, reach the arms forward if they're not there already. Exhale, shift the weight forward, coming all the way onto your back. Coming down onto the back, reclining down, release any bands that might be in your hair so that your head can rest back. We're going to do a little twist here, two legs to one side. Shift your hips to the right. Make your arms like cactus, draw your knees toward your chest, and then drop your knees toward the left. Flex through the feet. Maybe that left hand presses on that right leg. Draw tailbone toward your heels. Let that right shoulder be heavy. If it feels okay, open up and look toward the right. Take another big inhale here. Exhale. One more full inhale. And exhale. Engage the core. Inhale draws those knees back up. Exhale, places the feet on the floor, draw the hips back to center, and then shift the hips to the left. As you inhale, draw the knees into the chest, and exhale, drop the knees to the right. Flex through the feet, maybe right hand presses on the top of that left leg, tailbone lengthens to your heels as that left shoulder draws heavy. Breathing here into the twist, just noticing any changes in the legs, any new awareness that you might have built as you're doing those poses with the strap and then comparing them without the strap. 
Maybe a little bit of an aha moment happened. Maybe you found a little more openness or a little different adjustment to align yourself better for your body. But remember, always listening to your body. Use the pose to feel the body rather than feeling the body into the pose. Everybody's going to be different. And it's good that you're taking this time for exploration. Exhale fully here. Inhale, draws the knees back up. Exhale, feet to the floor, bring the hips back to center, pause there. Notice if you need any other posture, maybe a little happy baby, maybe windshield wiper the legs. We're gonna take a short Shavasana here, not a very long one, but a short one, just to kind of notice how the hips, the hamstrings, those quads are feeling after that practice. Just go ahead and release the feet down. You can keep the knees bent, knees knock in, or you can extend those legs out, palms turn up, and then pausing here as you settle in, using any props you need to, just tune that awareness into the body, into the lower half especially that we've worked. Just tuning in, noticing any subtle shifts or changes, any awareness built. Lying here for a few moments in silence, I'll bring us out with one sound of the bell. If you're at home and you have more time, stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ending with me today, take a nice deep inhale. Sigh it out. Start to bring some movement into the fingers and toes, maybe the wrists and ankles. Now on your next breath, reach your arms back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch. And then slowly bend the knees, draw the knees into the chest, giving them one final hug, maybe rounding forward, forehead toward knees, and then releasing down. When you're ready, using your arm as a pillow, roll over to your favorite side, pause there. Just scanning over, checking in here. And then using that top hand, extend the top leg, pressing yourself up. Come all the way back up to seated. Find a comfortable seat for you. Thank you for taking time for yourself. Thank you for exploring what it is to be like with a strap. If you liked this, go feel free to go through it again. If you liked the strap, I have a few more sessions in the specialty sequences. And if you really want to strap it up and you have two straps, you can do the upper body and combine it with this lower body and you have double straps. So one on your chest and one on your legs give that a go i'd love to know how it felt so leave me a comment below thanks for taking time for yourself thank you for joining me i always appreciate it drink lots of water eat your veggies and wear some sunblock we'll see you next time namaste